was founded in 1969 in London and moved to Nottingham in 1981 where it still currently resides and the Frame Alternatives Laboratory is in the Nottingham Medical School close to the main office. Frame believes in and promotes the three R's, the refinement, the replacement and the reduction of animals in medical experiments. While our main focus is replacement, we realise that animals are still used in medical experiments and therefore we believe by teaching experimental design we can reduce the numbers required and also we strongly believe in the refinement of the conditions and the procedures that animals have to undergo to reduce their suffering and improve their well-being. Frame has had many achievements and many successes over the years. Perhaps the most notable was uh, Frame's advising of the government in the 1980s, which eventually led to the enactment into law of the Animal Procedures Act 1986, which gave the UK the strongest and best animal protection laws in terms of animal experimentation in the world. Back in the 1990s, uh, a lot of the toxicity studies that were carried out uh, in terms of cosmetics were still carried out on animals. This is no longer a legal procedure in the EU and in the UK, and FRAME was instrumental in establishing new methods which were actually taken into law and replaced animals in the testing of cosmetics and other toxic materials. The Frame Alternatives Laboratory, when it started out in the 1990s, was primarily involved in looking at uh, studies on toxicity of chemicals in basic cell culture, but as, as science has moved on, what we're now doing is producing models of human tissue using uh, cells derived from human beings and trying to recreate aspects of the human body within the laboratory, which we can then use to model disease, we can also use them for drug testing, and we can use them for toxicity studies also. What we've mainly been trying to do is create better models of human organs. In particular, we've created a three-dimensional model of the human liver, which and also encompasses all the cells in the human liver. Most of the studies are based on one major cell, the hepatocyte, the thing that does all the sort of work for the liver. But there are also immune cells and cells involved in fibrosis and inflammation. We have managed to include all those in a three-dimensional model of the liver, which we are now refining and promoting for use in a whole range of medical experimental tests. Frame runs an annual training school which uh, teaches young scientists and also some fairly experienced scientists as well how to correctly design animal experiments. So we are not funded by central government and therefore we rely on uh, donations and support from our corporate partners and also from the general public and also from legacies. Without that funding the, the essential science and the work that we do cannot be carried out. So it's all about a mutually beneficial uh, relationship. We get uh, funding from those corporate supporters and they get real benefit in return. We have given advice on whether uh, consumables and materials that are used in products for our corporate sponsors are tested on animals in other countries or have previously been tested on animals in the EU. It's one area of advice we give. In terms of the laboratory, what we tend to do is we will have uh, a collaboration which will involve the development of cell culture methods or organ studies so we can produce cell culture models which benefit not only the, the company, the, uh, the corporate sponsor who is interested in that research, but also can be rolled out to the wider scientific community, whether it's industry or academia, to promote the use of non-animal methods. ATLAS stands for Alternatives to Laboratory Animals. It's an international, peer-reviewed scientific journal and it's produced by Frame six times a year. ATLA publishes articles about the use of animals and alternative models that are currently being developed and used. ATLA allows these new developments to be shared and encourages communication and informed debate around alternatives to animals. So it is read by scientists, industry regulators, professionals and experts in the research field, but also anyone who has an interest in biomedical research, the use of animals in testing, the three R's, or the development of culture cell media. So in alternatives research, there is still so much work to be done. We've had great achievements, but we have nowhere near a world in which animals can no longer be required in medical experiments. This vital work is only supported by corporate sponsors, the general public, legacies and donations. To find out more about how to support Frame and to keep up to date on the latest news developments and events, please visit the website.